pangalan bilang kauna-unahang Pinay politician sa UK. Ngayon, silipin natin ang daang tinahak ni Councillor at ngayong Deputy Mayor Cynthia Barker bago siya naging politiko at ang kanyang OFW na kwento na humabi sa pagkataon niya. Kilala sa United Kingdom at sa iba-ibang panig ng Europa si Councillor Cynthia Barker dahil gumuhit siya ng pangalan bilang unang Pinay sa UK na naloklok sa politika. Pero ang di alam ng marami, ang kwento niya ay tulad ng maraming pamilya ng overseas Filipino. Bata pa kami. Nandito siya sa abroad, nandun kami sa Philippines. So, I haven't actually opened it. It's the first time I'm opening it. Letters from since you were a kid. Mga kwentong nakabaon sa mga sulat at litratong ito. Oo, oh, high school graduation. Ah. Tapos ito. Para kay Councillor Cynthia, nakaugat ang tagumpay niya sa sakripisyo ng kanyang inang si Nelly. So tell us about the story of how you moved here in the UK. I'm going to start from the 70s because really it's my mother who paved the way for me to get here. Iniwan niya lahat yung mga bata para lang makapag-abroad at um, for economic reasons. And then of course, para mapag-aaral ang magkakapatid at ang family and mapadala sa school at mapakain. And of course, my mother was a school teacher and she led a fairly good life, but it wasn't um, enough to feed the whole family. So she paid that ultimate price of sacrificing to go abroad and leave the young children. Oh my gosh, these are precious. Mission is special happiness. Hi, Mr. Kanan. Teacher sa Pilipinas si Nelly Bartolome Alcantara at may limang anak na may edad mula labing isa at tatlong taon ang bunso. Pero nang tumulak sa UK, idineklaran niyang single siya at walang anak para makapag-abroad. My mom said there were 12 siblings in the family and then I have big, so many aunties and uncles. So meron kaming family support. Um, but as I said, yung youngest sister ko nag-suffer the most because she was only three. So naging masakitin siya. Then in and out sa hospital. And we were trying to figure out bakit lagi siya may sakit. But actually... It's only now in my mature age I realized, no, there was the emotional trauma. I didn't know any better. My mom made up this very grand story. I'm going to work in England uh, as a physiotherapist. At, at seven, I didn't know what a physiotherapist was. And I, so I was telling all my friends, my mom has gone to London and she was the first one to go abroad in our street. And, and, and she didn't go to the Middle East, she went to London. And it was a big thing for our community there. And it was only when I came to the UK in the late 80s, I, I found out she was working in catering. She was like delivering all the food to the patients. And then, um, so I, I asked her, you said you were a physiotherapist. She said, yeah, she lied because she didn't want to, she wanted to inspire us. Dahil sa pagkakahiwalay sa ina, hindi raw kaya ni Cynthia na gawin ito sa kanyang nag-iisang anak at mga apo. Actually, both the parents and the ch children suffer. It, it really is. If if I can advise anyone, don't do it. We need the parent, the mother. We're, we're very um, maternal. You can talk openly with your mom. And even when I was writing to my mom, I'd openly tell her everything. And then I used to send her um, when I couldn't express. I'd send her 
the lyrics of a song like when will I see you again gaganan nasa sa dako sa kanya daming drama but um yeah so she she was always the role model not just for me but the whole family it is like the whole family looked up to her she was talaga yung uh, the mother of the whole family At di rin alam ng marami, bago naging servant leader si Councillor Cynthia, ay dumaan rin siya sa pagiging immature at spoiled brat. Sa kabila nito, wala raw hiniling ang ina niya kung di magtapos ng pag-aaral sa Pilipinas. Sa pagbisita niya sa UK noon, maraming nadiskubre si Councillor Cynthia. She was doing cleaning job for her family. She said, okay, you can come with me. And I got there, I saw the pile of dishes. And I thought, I'm going to wash dishes. And then she said, no, 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 you just sit there and just watch me. And she did all the work. And I was such a spoiled young girl. And I just sat there and read the magazine while she did all the work. And it was, um, you know, I, as I said, I didn't know any better. She gave me an Amer American Express card. And she said, anything I need, just use the card. And I was shopping, like, anything I wanted. I would buy a camcorder, I'd buy a camera, I'd go, I had no concept that it, that she was working all the hours just to spoil us, and I think it was her way of trying to um, cover up for all the things she uh, probably missed. Ang limang batang iniwan sa kalinga ng mga kamag-anak umukit rin ng sariling tagumpay sa iba-ibang larangan. It's been a really great week. I'm having to spend my time with my uh, three brothers and sister. It's the first time we've got together for 31 years now. Walang kulang. Magkakasama kami. Minsan kasi, but it's sama-sama. Lagi may kulang. And it, it feels like the good old days. And she'd be proud of... And she always spoke openly how proud she was of us. In fact, she was openly speaking too much. Nainis na yung ibang kapamil na may oyan na naman mga anak mo. Because, uh, I think all five of us were, were good children. We did what she told us to do, go to school. We didn't get involved with uh, the bad things. So we just lived simply. I'll go to school, go home. And then we were grown up, we went to work. And I, I don't remember breaking any of her rules. Yeah, because we were, we were inspired by her. Graduate ng high school sa Laguna College, San Pablo City at Adamson University noong 1984 with a degree in Bachelor of Science, major in Industrial Engineering. First job ni Counselor Barker sa London ang pagiging PA ng isang kumpanya. Pumasok sa sales hanggang maging Immigration Advisor matapos mag-aral ng Immigration Law sa University of Hertfordshire at City University. So, what inspired you to enter a career in politics? And in 2015, merong general election. Mm -hmm. So, our party then said, we need more women in politics. We need more yes. people from ethnic minority mm -hmm. group. And they said they wanted me to, to run as counselor. Ang sabi ko, I don't have any experience in politics. So, I don't think so. And they said, no, that's why we want you. Because we want people with no political experience that, that they can mentor. So I got in at the right time. It was just lucky that I was there at the right time, the right place. Hindi akalain ni Cynthia Barker na sa unang sabak niya sa politika, panalo agad bilang Conservative Party Councillor ng Hartsmere Borough at Town Councillor ng Elstree and Borum Wood. Hindi lang isa, kundi dalawang lugar. 2015 election, I didn't want to go. Parang nahiya pa nga ako. Sabi ko, hindi naman ako mananalo eh. So I won't go na lang. So, nagpunta na sila, iniwanan na ako. But then I had a phone call from our leader and said, you should be here. Then I think it was about 4 a.m. They started announcing the winners. And I was at the other end of this community hall. We call it Alam Hall. And then people were starting to wave at me. Come, come, we have to. Yung pala, nanalo na ako doon sa dalawang seats, which was like unusual. And they made me sign the declaration. They announced it. So it was a happy, happy occasion unexpected occasion.
Matapos ang matagumpay na re-election sa Hartsmere, noong nakaraang Mayo, tinalagang Deputy Mayor si Councilor Cynthia sa Hartsmere. Tatagal ito ng isang taon. Di na napigil ang pag-ani ng pagkilala ng British Pinay politician. Isa siya sa 100 most influential Filipino women ng Filipino Women's Network. Ginawaran ng British Community Honors Awards at marami pang iba. So, pwede niyo po bang i-describe sa amin yung typical day niyo mm -hmm. as a working politician? I started the day, nag-school run muna ako kasi uh, yung, yung, my daughter actually had twin babies recently. So, she needs a lot of help and, and I love being a grandmother. So, this morning, 8 o'clock, it was all a rush because I had to then drop the two kids, pick them up, take them to school. And I do spoil them with that attention because I, I didn't have that uh, when I was young. Yeah. Today, it was actually not too early because the NSPC committee meeting uh, started at 10.30. I was, still, I was still a little bit late because in between I had to answer calls and emails. Now this is not nothing to do with politics but the thing is I want to keep my uh, vocational roles outside politics like NSPCC, I'm a school governor, I'm a Rotary member um, and I'm trustee for 60 plus club. I'm Trust this uh, museum dito, but those are my favorite roles, so I don't want to give them up. At sinundan namin ang very busy and hectic schedule ni Councillor at Deputy Mayor Cynthia Barker. In fact, we have uh, a leadership race. We, we're gonna we're gonna have a new prime minister this month. It's either Jeremy Hunt or Boris Johnson. So tomorrow afternoon, I'm going to attend Jeremy Hunt's. Uh, talk at the House of Commons, and Wednesday will be with Boris Johnson. So, ano naman po yung mga advice na maibibigay nyo to anyone who dreams of following your footsteps? My first advice is make sure make sure you get involved with politics start with local politics because it everything affects you and when you want to voice out your opinion you really have a say but you can make a difference by saying what you want to say start locally and help out with campaigns you can't just go out say Kiara says mom Cynthia I want to go I want to become a prime minister. I'll say, well, let's do this uh, properly. Let's start with this and then prepare you for it. I can mentor anybody who wants to get involved from our community. Di rin daw pwedeng talikuran ni Cynthia ang kanyang pagka-Pilipino kahit na pinagsisilbihan niya ay mga Briton. Philippine heritage is actually my strength. If you look at me, I am a trustee for the Filipino Women's Association. I cannot, di ko iiwanan yung organization because I need both. And di, you will not be successful or you will not be happy if you just decide I'm just British or I'm just Filipino. You have to integrate and embrace both. And, and the more mature I become, the more I realize my the Philippine blood, the Philippine culture, my upbringing, yun talaga yung, yung strength ko. Walang duda na ang humubog sa matagumpay na karera sa politika ng unang Pinay councillor sa UK ay ang kanyang ina na dating OFW. <laughs> Ako po si Chiara Gregorio para sa One You Connect.